Hello, I'm Rachel or Yogi Fleeman, and whether you're here for the first time or returning, welcome. I post yoga videos, classes here on YouTube every Thursday at five o'clock UK time so that you can come and join me and practice with me in the week, maybe between your yoga classes or when you feel like you just want to do a practice at home, this gives you an option to do that. So the practice that we're going to be doing today focuses on our backs. So flexion and extension of our back, different movements, lateral flexion of our spine and just some strength work on our spine as well, just to try and improve overall spine health. So we're going to start lying down in Shavasana on our mats, on our back. So if you'd like to come and join me. We're going to start lying down on our backs with our palms facing up by our sides. Bring your hands a little bit further away from your sides. You can keep your feet on the mat, allowing your knees to fall in towards each other if you want to, or if you feel like your lower back's okay here, maybe extending your legs out flat on the mat. Just beginning to feel your body on the mat, trying to let go of the tension. Lengthening your inhalations and exhalations, maybe counting, you can count to four on an inhale, and then maybe six on an exhale, just seeing how that feels, you can choose different numbers if that feels uncomfortable, just picking a breath that helps you to lengthen and calm the rate of your breathing and your heart rate, just becoming heavy on the mat. Closing your eyes here at the start of our practice today. I'd like you to take a little bit of a scan of your body and see how your body's feeling. See if there's any areas that you need to be a little bit more conscious and mindful of throughout the practice today. Just be kind to your body, especially any areas that maybe need a little bit more attention, a bit more mindfulness of our, our practice. Don't push into any pain. And on your next inhale, bring your arms up and over the top of your head, point your toes away, point your fingertips away, suck your belly in, suck your lower ribs in, full body stretch, engaging your thighs, stretching out of your shoulders, and as you exhale, bring one knee at a time in towards your chest, hands around your kneecaps, give yourself a hug in. You can rock from side to side here just to give your lower back a little bit of a massage. So with our knees up towards our chest, our spines in flexion and rounding towards the mat, this allows us just to rock a little bit and give ourselves a massage as we push different areas of the lower back into the mat, see how it's feeling, see if there's any bits that feel nice if you just rock into them a little bit more. Then bring your one hand to either kneecap, allow your knees to fall out towards your sides. Hands on your knees, maybe a little bit of pressure. So just feeling the stretch in the inner thigh, feeling your back nice and flat on the mat now. A little bit of a tuck of the chin, feeling the length down your spine. And bring your hands to your knees, push your knees away from you and help them together into the middle and then draw them into your chest. So draw nice big circles with your knees. I want you to notice how your back moves with this. So as your knees come up, your back rounds towards the mat. As you bring them apart, push your knees away. Your back will extend away from the mat. So bring them round, nice big circles. Then change in the direction of the rotation. And 
and bringing your knees to center in the middle of your chest, hands around your kneecaps. I want you to inhale and raise your head up towards your knees. Suck your belly in, engaging the core muscles here. Maybe releasing your hands either side of your legs. Suck your belly in, make sure it's not pooching out. Keep them engaged, keep your ribs sucked in. Nice strong core helps to support our back. And release head to mat, hands on your knees. So options here, either you can bring your knees down to one side and help yourself to come up to sit, or you can bring your hands underneath your kneecaps, draw your head up towards your knees. Then begin to rock forwards and backwards down the length of your spine. Just a few times until you can come all the way up to sit. So come to sit on your mat. Find a comfortable seat, so this might be cross-legged, or you can have your legs out in front of you, that's completely fine. If you want to grab some bucks and raise your seat bones, also completely fine. Find somewhere that is comfortable for you seated on the mat. So we're going to do some cat-cows. Often you see these in a tabletop position. We're going to do this seated just so it's a little bit of a different experience. Again, you can do this cross-legged or with your legs out in front of you. I'll show you both. So bring your hands to your knees wherever you are. Then I want you to inhale, tuck your tailbone away from you, tuck your chest forwards, we're arching your back, looking forward. So use your hands on your knees to maybe add a little bit of pressure, draw your shoulder blades together. And exhale, suck your belly in, tuck your tailbone under, suck your ribs in, drawing your chest back, tucking your chin, hands on your knees, again to help you pull your shoulder blades apart. I'm going to do a few of those with your breath. So if your legs are right in front of you, bring your feet a little bit further forwards. And again, just hands on your knees. Inhale forwards and exhale back. Inhale forwards wherever you are. Exhale back, tucking your tailbone, arch in the back. Inhale, coming forwards into extension of your spine. Exhale, sucking your belly, tucking your tailbone, flexing the spine. Inhale forwards and exhale back. Inhale forwards and I'm going to stay here for a couple of breaths this time. So staying forwards, arching your back, tailbone away, shoulder blades together, breathing here. And then as you exhale, I want you to begin to move your body towards your left knee, bringing it round and back into that arch position so as we were before but we've come round to it this time instead so then coming round to the right again if your knees are up that's completely fine just doing this as well up to the front exhale round to the back so I'll do that with my legs out in front of you so that you can see it if you're like this coming round to the front towards that front knee trying to keep both seat bones on the ground coming forwards and then coming round to the back, arching the back, inhale, coming forwards, exhale, going back, inhale, round to the front again, and then we're going to go the other direction, so going towards your right knee, rounding back, pumping your back up, coming round towards that knee, then round to the front, so arching your back into extension, coming round, so we bring it in some lateral flexion of the spine as we come round, bringing that side or to motion through our spine. And inhale to the front and exhale, sitting up straight. So from here, I want you to bring your right hand to your left knee. So if that's out in front of you, again, that's completely fine. Inhale, use your hand on your knee to help you find length in your spine. And as you exhale, bring your left hand behind you, behind your seat, maybe looking over that left shoulder, trying to create length in your spine. So inhale, find length, exhale, looking behind you. So we're trying to create a nice flat back. If we have a straight spine, it gives us more space, more availability to find the twist in the spine. Breathing, using your breath to inhale and find length and exhale. Use that hand on that knee. Maybe find a little bit more rotation. So a test that we can do here to make sure that we're not leaning backwards too much, that we've got a nice flat spine, nice straight back. 
as we're here, you can maybe lift that back hand off the mat, see how that feels. Lift it off, maybe the front hand, so we're using our strength to keep us in that rotation. Inhale, coming back to front. Okay, inhale here, and as you exhale, bring your left hand to right knee, right hand behind you, looking over your right shoulder. And then again, inhale, find length through your spine, and exhale, maybe find a little bit more rotation using your hand on the knee and on the floor to help you find that straight spine and then find a little bit more rotation breathing here and then again test it if you want to maybe raising that back hand see how that feels make sure you've got a straight spine so if you're falling back here it's because you're putting quite a lot of pressure on that back hand so try and find length even if it means that you rotate a little bit less as long as you've got that straight spine and we're rotating nice healthy straight spines and then maybe release both hands so we're using the strength in our bodies in that rotation and inhale at the front and exhale release give it a little bit of a wiggle out if you want to so you're going to come over now bring your feet to one side onto your knees coming up to a tabletop position bring your hands underneath your shoulders shoulder width apart knees underneath your hips hip width apart if you have any troubles with your knees you can grab a blanket or a cushion to put under your knees just to make it a little bit more comfortable in this position so fingers spread nice and wide middle finger of the hand pointing forwards you've got strong arms think about the weight going through the base of the fingers fingers engage with the mat so we're not dumping the weight into the wrist we've got nice strong arm so from here from your tabletop position i want you to inhale and raise your left arm up and right leg back so pushing that back heel away from you toes towards you nice strong back leg strong and straight pushing the weight into the base of the fingers engaging the fingers on the mat on that right hand sucking your belly in pulling your lower ribs in towards your chest nice strong back here and exhale, release. So you're going to do that again. Inhale, raising left arm, right leg. Heel pushes away. Nice, strong, flat body line. Keeping soft neck. Not holding any tension. Give it a little bit of shake. And release. One more of those. Inhale, raise the left hand. Right leg, push the heel away from you. Engage your core muscles. Suck your lower ribs in. Nice, strong body line and release so we'll do the other side so inhale raising right arm and left leg this time heel pushes away flexing that foot nice flat back suck your belly in suck your ribs in using our core to support our spine and release doing that again inhale raising right arm left leg heel away toes towards you engaging your core sucking the ribs in exhale release inhale raising it up make sure you breathe as it up as, it, as you're lifting it up extending hand and foot away sucking your belly in ribs in breathing in through your nose and out through your nose release so you're going to do another one the other side so we're going to raise the left arm and right leg again but this time i want you to bend that knee at the back point the toe lift your leg up towards the ceiling so try and keep your hips even left and right so from here i want you to bring that arm behind left arm behind you can stay here if you want to pushing into that hand trying to find an arch of your back extension through your spine maybe being able to hold on to that foot behind pushing the foot into the arm to help you find a little bit more extension through your spine engage your core we're trying to lengthen our spine as we look forward and exhale release so you're going to do the other side inhale raising right arm and left leg heel points away finding that body line first before you bend that back knee toes up towards the ceiling trying to keep your hips even left and right and bringing that arm behind pushing into it so you can stay here if you want to we're working a lot of strength here or you can hold in onto that foot, push the foot into your hand, looking forwards, trying to extend out of your spine. So engaging your core muscles, lengthening forwards, nice proud chest. 
and exhale, release, bring your hands to the mat, bring your knees to the mat, knees nice and wide apart, big toes together, pushing back, your seat bones to your heels, arms out in front of you, into an extended child's pose. So you can use some bucks underneath your sit bones if you want to, or underneath your head to try and find a comfortable extended child's pose. From here, I want you to come back up to a tabletop position, hands underneath your shoulders. So from a tabletop position, we're going to walk our hands just slightly further forward than our shoulders. Suck our belly in, suck your lower ribs in, trying to create some nice strong back as we're coming down so we're not sticking our bum up in the air. Think about the weight going through the base of the fingers, fingers engaged with the mat as our elbows come in, nice and close in by your sides. So this is fine if you want to come here, that's fine. Or maybe bring in your upper arms parallel with the mat. And inhale, push back up. So wherever you are, I want you to come all the way down onto the mat, allowing your body to come flat on the mat, lying down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push your chest up and lengthening forward. So this is a cobra, so extension through our spine. Push the tops of the feet into the mat. Exhale. Release. Push back through your hands onto your knees. Tuck your toes behind. Push in through your hands. So push in through the base of your fingers and through your fingers as you lift up. Keeping your knees nice and bent in towards your chest. Seat bones up towards the ceiling in a half dog position. Breathing here. Feeling the length through your spine. So you should be lengthening through your spine here, pushing through your hands, trying to create that line from your fingertips to your tailbone. Then walking your hands up towards your feet nice and slowly until your heels find the floor. Keep a nice bend of your knees, folding over your legs, holding on to either elbow. Allow the top of your head to relax towards the mat. Breathing here. Feel that breath into your rib cage at the back. Feel it down your spine, trying to release down your spine with every exhale. Maybe nod your head, give it a shake. Make sure you're not holding any tension in your neck. Feeling the reverse effects of gravity on your spine. Bring your hands to the mat, walk them back forwards. So you can bring your knees down, knees nice and wide, big toes together, coming back into that extended child's pose. And inhale, coming up to your knees, walk your hands in, we're coming up. So from a kneeling position, if you find this uncomfortable, grab a cushion, put it underneath your knees to make them a little bit more comfortable. Bring your hands to your hips, suck your belly in, suck your lower ribs in, nice proud chest, bring your chin back, nice strong posture. Inhale and exhale here, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale and raising your left leg up, I want you to bring your foot up and pointing down the mat. So your foot needs to be Bow it in line with that extended knee, trying to create a nice line, keeping our, our hips even so we've not got one shooting forwards or back, We're trying to keep them in the same plane, lengthways down the mat. Inhale, raising your right arm up, and exhale, folding over towards that outstretched leg, maybe bringing your left arm down, so just beginning to feel that stretch down the side of your body. We're going to breathe here. This is our gate pose. Nice to work into the lateral flexion of your spine as well as into the inner thigh. Breathing here. Maybe looking up towards the ceiling, keeping those shoulders away from your ears. Then inhale, come back up. Exhale, bringing your hand down. Bring your knees back together. I'll be back in. Hands to your hips. Inhale here. And exhale here. Inhale, raising your right leg up this time. Pointing that foot down the mat. So pointing it 
down towards the end of your mat, maybe bring it back so that your knee and your foot are in the same plane down the mat, keeping your hips in that plane also, hands onto your hips, inhale, raising your left arm up this time, exhale, folding over towards that ext extended leg, maybe bringing that bottom arm down, breathing here, breathing into the side of your body, Feeling your rib cage in that lateral flexion, maybe looking up towards the ceiling, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, come up and exhale, release from your hands onto your hips, knees back together. So I'm going to face down the mat this time. So turn your body to face down the edge of your mat and then bringing your right leg up, bring your right leg out in front of you, bring your heel to the mat and bring your toes upwards. So again, trying to even off your hips left and right. Inhale, suck your belly in, drawing your ribs in, proud chest. And as you exhale, fold forwards gently. Maybe your hands you can bring some books either side if you want to. If you want to stay here and breathe, maybe your hands might find the floor, but I don't want you to do that through flexing the spine, you want to keep that extension or lengthening your spine, so you can feel that stretch down the back of your leg, supported by a nice strong extended back, looking forwards, breathing here. So often if we have issues with our back it can either be caused by issues to our legs or our shoulders, or the issues in our back cause issues in our legs, so it's a whole body process to make sure that we're looking after our bodies. This is a nice stretch through the backs of your legs and into your hips. Inhale, coming up and exhale, walk your foot in, knees back together, hands onto your hips. Inhale here and exhale here. Inhale, suck your belly in, draw your ribs in, proud chest, bring that chin back. Nice strong posture. And bringing that left foot out in front of you. So walk it forwards, trying to keep your hips even and bring those toes up towards the ceiling, pushing the heel away. Inhale here and as you exhale, fold over that shoulder leg. So you can stay here if you want to, that's completely fine. Or maybe bring your hands onto black books or maybe onto the floor. Making sure we're not hiking one hip up, up, hip up higher than the other. And again, extending through your spine. And exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper, but not ranting through the back. Keeping a nice strong spine. Breathing. In through your nose and out through your nose. Inhale, coming back up, hands onto your hips, half it back up, knees back together, hands onto hips, bring your knees nice and wide, big toes together, sitting down and walking your hands back forwards into that extended child's pose. So coming forwards now, I want you to come to a tabletop position and then you help yourself down to lie on your front. I want you to bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. So we're coming up onto the forearms, push your feet into the mat behind and push into your shoulders to lengthen through your spine and shine your chest forwards, looking forwards. So I want you to use your elbows on the mat to maybe draw them a little bit closer in towards you to feel that stretch through your spine, the extension in your spine and the length. But keeping the strength there as you push the backs of your feet into the mat. Engaging your core to support your spine in this extension. And exhale, release. Bring your elbows out by the sides. Bring your head to the mat. Turn it one way. And just releasing down for a second. See how that feels in your back. So the next one, I want you to come back up, but bring your hands out by the sides this time. Bring your elbows to point upwards. You're going to inhale, pushing into those fingers. Drawing your chest off the mat, looking forwards, arching that back again, pushing the tops of the feet into the mat, thinking about that extension, support it by nice strong core, so suck your belly in, chest shines forwards and exhale, 
release coming down, keeping your arms up, maybe fall right head, find the mat. We do that again, so inhale, pushing into the mat with your hands, drawing your chest up, inhale, right extension, with the strength, pushing the tops of the feet into the mat, sucking your belly in, exhale, falling forwards. We do one more of those, inhale, coming up, drawing up into that extension, and exhale, coming down. Bring your hands onto the mat and your head, one side or the other, just releasing for a second. Wait to bring your forehead to the mat again. Keep your hands where they are this time. Bring your forearms onto the mat, fingers pointing forward. Use your inhale, raise your head off the mat, suck your belly in, arching your back, looking forwards. You're going to stay here, and then if you can, maybe raising your arms off the mat, so making, your, making sure we're pushing those feet into the mat, sucking your belly in. Lengthening through your spine, finding that extension supported by the strength of your body. And exhale, release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push back, knees nice and wide, big toes together, come back into that extended child's pose. Maybe give it a little bit of a rock from side to side, just releasing. And then inhale, walking your hands up towards your knees, bring your thumb one side, feet the other, bringing your feet round to come. To sit. I want you to sit at the end of your mat, bring your hands by your sides, inhale here and as you exhale help yourself to roll down onto your mat. So if you need to you can bring your hands to the mat but try and use your core to help you as you come down and find your back flat on the mat. Bring your hands by your sides, palms facing down and walk your feet in towards your seat bones these up towards the ceiling so try and keep your knees in line with your hips and feet in line with your knees so nice strong legs here feeling your back flat on the mat engage your core to feel nice strong body on the mat sucking your belly in and breathing here and on your next inhale i want you to inhale and push just your feet into the mat. So you may be able to feel your tailbone tilting under just slightly with that movement, feeling the engagement of your legs, trying to keep your knees in line with your hips and release your bum back down if it's raised. On the next one, I want you to inhale and push your feet into the mat, push your knees away from you. So maybe this time your hips may raise a little bit off the mat but feel the strength in your legs and your hamstrings and your quads and your feet pushing into the mat supporting your body engaging your core breathing here and exhale release third one so we're going to inhale and push our feet into the mat knees away from us but this time we're going to push into those feet to help you raise your hips up knees away from you so you can use your hands here to push your hands into the mat to find that extension through your spine. Then if you want to, you can maybe draw your arms in towards each other, interlacing your fingers, pushing those hands into the mat. Just to stay in whichever version feels okay for you. Breathing here, trying to keep your knees in line with your hips, make sure they're not flaring outwards. Nice strong legs, so most of this is coming from your legs. Supported by a nice strong core. And then raising it up through your arms. Bring your hands apart if they're not already. And lowering back down nice and slowly. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hands around your knees. Give yourself a hug. Maybe you're up from side to side. So we're going to come into a happy baby pose now. We inhale and raise the sole of your feet up towards the ceiling. So wherever you are, we need to hold onto your shins and your calves. Inhale and as you exhale, maybe holding onto them, draw your knees down towards your chest. Knees nice and wide. So we're aiming our knees towards our armpits. It doesn't matter how deep they go, as long as you can feel that flexion through your spine, the rounding of your spine towards the mat, soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Maybe if you're deep enough, your hands may be able to go round the outsides of your feet to help you 
with your breath as you draw the knees a bit closer towards the ground. You can rock slightly from side to side here, feeling that massage into your back, maybe a little bit higher up your back than it is when your knees are in towards your chest. So it massages just a little bit higher up. Then releasing your legs, bring your feet onto the mat, feet hip dis distance apart, allow your knees to fall in towards each other, bring your hands by your sides, arms facing up. So stay here as long as you need to until you can feel your lower back just relaxing any tension that it may have built up, just allowing any of that build up to release. Before you extend one leg, and then the other, down into Shavasana. Breathing here, maybe closing your eyes. Take a bit of a scan of your body, see how you feel now compared to how you did at the start. And on your next inhale, bring your arms up and over the top of your head, point your fingertips away, point your toes away, suck your belly in, suck your lower ribs in, extending out of your toes, engage your thighs, extending out of your shoulders, feeling that full body stretch. And then as you exhale, bring one knee at a time in towards your chest, hands around your kneecaps, maybe rocking from side to side. And rolling your whole body over to whichever side feels more comfortable. Going to lie on your side for a moment. While you gently link your eyes open. In your own time, help yourself to come up. To sit on the mat, a comfortable seat, whatever that may be. Bring your hands by your sides. As you inhale, bring your arms up to overhead, maybe looking up. Exhale, hand through heart center. Namaste. So thank you for joining me for this practice today. And if you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below and give me feedback in the comments and maybe subscribe if you're not already. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on these practices. And I'll see you for the next one next Thursday at five o'clock. Thank you.